that I would just vlog the next couple of days because there's some interesting, kind of interesting things going on. A lot of also just like regular tasks <laughs> going on, but I haven't vlogged in a little while. If you follow me on Instagram over at Anime by Design, you'll have seen that I'm actually going on a trip. I'm so excited. I haven't been outside of the country since January of 2020. Um when I went to Riga in Latvia and also London. And then in the next like two, three weeks, I'm going to Madrid in Spain, which I haven't said yet on Instagram, but I will actually be going to Madrid. My friend is moving there. One of my best friends from college is moving there. So I'm going with her to just be her buddy in all of that. And then I will be going to London. I come back and I'm here for a day and then I'm off to London. So there's lots of exciting things happening soon. So be sure to subscribe because I'm hopefully going to be making lots of content about those trips before I go and when I'm there um, and hopefully my friends won't hate me too much for doing it. So today I'm doing a little bit of prep stuff for uh, my travels. I have, actually I'll show you, my room is a mess. I kind of have a colour palette put together, the light's weird in here right now, but I tend to do this, I think I'm going to make a video on how I pack. I tend to do this thing where I pick out a general theme almost for my wardrobe when I'm traveling because you know I like to look nice <laughs> that's that's about it but there's some things that you know you have in your mind you really really want to bring so for me that would be like my nap dress and then you build around it so that everything is cohesive I just started to pack that way sorry if you can hear the birds the front door is open um, I started to pack like that a couple years ago and it has really really worked for me um, and it just makes traveling but having cute outfits that are also practical when traveling work so I for both trips I'm actually going to be bringing a carry-on bag but I think I'll talk about them more in like I'm going to do a packing video for this but I'm going to be bringing on a carry-on suitcase so that's so fine and then for London I'm also bringing a carry-on but that's because I'm going to the knitting and stitching show which um as I say that here is my sewing machine except it's not mine it's my mom's and I use it all the time um and this is the dress I'm currently working on that hopefully I will be oh there we are potentially wearing in London actually or maybe wear in Madrid depending on how cute it turns out but um yeah, just in case I buy stuff at the knitting and stitching show, it's just easier than packing everything in a backpack or having to leave it with my friend. Because my other best friend lives in London. So it's just a very exciting time. Uh, this morning I have just been applying to jobs. Um, I mean, what's new? No updates. Stressful time. Let's not talk about it. And I have applied to like over 20 jobs this month though. So I think that's pretty good. And then... I had a delicious breakfast of homemade banana bread with big dollop of Greek yogurt and some raspberries and it was absolutely glorious. So that's, you know, getting you caught up. I've been talking for like four minutes now, but um, then Boxlight for taking all of the photos for my needlepoint business. Needlepoint business has not been going great recently, but I also have a design I never actually painted and released as a canvas, so I'm gonna be doing that. And then I have maybe one or two charts I might release that I can work on when I'm in Madrid. But I just need to cover this up. Just got a package and in a previous vlog as well, um, I was changing out one of my piercings, but I think since then I've gotten some more. Um, but I was not expecting these to arrive so soon. So I actually got two new uh, like labret, like flat back earrings for my second piercing on both my ears. Um, cause this third one is new, but still healing and the earring is so cute. I had the same earring in my second one on this ear, which is also new, but it, um, it got lost. Long story, very mad about it. So I have this weirdly long one in there right now that's really for my upper helix, but I have this super cute one in my upper helix, um, that I love. And then I have my rook pierced as well, but we're not gonna look at that because she's not looking so hot. So I got these super cute ear, I haven't opened it. I'm assuming they're very cute. Uh, earrings I picked out and can't even remember which ones I went for, but I'm gonna try those out because, especially when I'm traveling, I just wanna have like jewelry that stays in place. So I've been talking for too long. Welcome to this vlog, subscribe, and 
let's keep going with our day now that the stressful job application part is over with. Okay, so excuse the nails, but these are the earrings. I just took them out. They're little hearts, and they are so cute. It looks like the, the stones are grey on the camera, but it's just the light, because um, we've got that autumn light right now. But uh, these are so cute. I love them. It's so hard trying to find a place with, like, okay lighting where you can see my face this time of year, but it's much later in the day now. These um, earrings, they're so cute. I will link the shop down below. It's an Etsy shop. It's uh, based in the UK, um, but they took forever to get on. I think the threading for one of them, because they're Labrath earrings, the threading wasn't isn't quite right. So it was just so difficult. It took me so long. I had to wait for my mom to come home and she tried, she couldn't do it. It was like an hour and a half of an ordeal to get them in, but they're in now and thankfully they're gonna be there for a while. Now I'm going to go through the pattern instructions for this dress. Um, that I'm hopefully going to start sewing up tomorrow or maybe even this evening. But I am going to be making this dress. It's the New Look 6262. Um, if you see the one like in yellow down here, that's the style I'm making. But I really got this as like a basic pattern as well that I'll be able to hack in different ways. You know, this isn't, if you're not into sewing, you know, I'm. this is not a sewing video, um, but just, Basically, I have all the pattern pieces cut out. Um, if you are into sewing, I'll link a video over here in my more recent ones. Um, and I'm using this really nice printed kind of a ochre mustard cotton. And I have all the pattern pieces cut out. Um, I have matching thread, like I'm all ready to go, except I don't have a zip. I will get a zip tomorrow. I need to add that to my to-do list because um, I can actually get that in my local town. But I'm just going to maybe pin some pieces together and just start to prep. I'm not actually going to go on the machine. And yeah, depending on how this dress turns out, maybe I'll bring it with me to um, Madrid, maybe to London, maybe neither. Maybe it's not that cute because I've had a couple projects turn out like that. But I really hope it turns out well because I have fabrics that this will just be like such a good basic dress to do. I showed in my previous video, you can see up here, um, in one of my thrifting videos, it's hard to see again with this light, I thrifted this fabric. It's a sheet, it was a sheet, and it's this beautiful vintage floral, so that would be a great pattern. Um, and I'm gonna be bringing one of the dresses I made to Madrid because it turned out so cute. So that's the Monica dress. And that video will be the one after this, so subscribe to see that when it goes up. I'm just gonna potter around with these for a while, drink a Diet Coke, and uh, then go and work out. <laughs> Probably like at least two hours later and I'm in the same position as I was in the last clip but um I just did a little bit of what is like my hair today I have like this very flat middle part and then very chunky curl situation um I'm gonna wash my hair even though I'm getting it done tomorrow but I mean at the same time they are pretty cute for natural curls so uh I was doing a lot of pinning so I just pinned the facing the hem of the sleeves because I prefer to do them before I put them in. I'm kind of following the instructions, but kind of not following the instructions. I am very proud of this pinning work. It is neat and tidy. I managed to do both sleeves. I'm doing little short sleeves, and then I did the darts for both of the, um, or for all three pieces of the top, which is a lot. Good morning. Uh, I didn't wrap up the vlog yesterday because I just worked out and showered and that was it. Did a little bit of needle pointing, but I am going to get my hair done today, which is very exciting. Uh, I didn't use much product on my hair last night when I washed it and I didn't like brush style it or anything because I was like, it's just going to get redone. But now I'm kind of regretting it because it does not look good. Um, I'm just going to have something to eat before I go. I'm just wearing this Ralph Lauren jumper. Um, this, I had a thrifted version of this. And then it got way too, like, way too worn out and I turned it into a cardigan. So I actually, this one I actually bought new. But I wear a lot of these jumpers and they're all thrifted. Almost all of them. Um, and then 
I have my docs on. I'm just gonna have something to eat before I go. And then um, I might do a little bit of sewing in the meantime. But first, eat and then makeup. Hanging out with my tiny little bestie. She's gonna yawn. Oh, I thought she was gonna yawn and be cute. I've just been taking a flat lay picture for Instagram and now I'm gonna do a little bit of stitching. I'm working on this very large cushion from Airman. Um, my needlepoint Instagram is MK Needlepoint. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of stitching on this because it is easier to see in the daylight. Um, my hair appointment isn't until 3.30, so I'm just gonna hang out here with my gal. Um, I just moved her over here. I woke her up to move her over here. She's 15 now, so she's a real old lady. I feel like it's, you know, like 3.30 appointments, like kind of weird, you're just kind of waiting around to do stuff. And I applied to all the vacancies I had found yesterday, like job stuff, so I also just didn't feel like sewing because I thought I would get distracted and forget what time it is. So I'm gonna do a little bit of needle pointing and then we will go to the salon. I hope you can hear me. I keep vlogging on my phone, which is kind of annoying, but I am just out of the hairdressers. My hair is done. Um, looking so nice, so blonde, but my mom's supposed to pick me up and I think she forgot, so I'm walking home. Okay, good morning. I just got the most bizarre phone call. I was just like, I'm in my pajamas. I was picking out clothes for the day and my phone starts to go off. And it's like a phone call from an entirely different part of the country. And I was like, mm, okay, like an unknown number, but I picked it up and I've mentioned before, probably in this vlog as well, and um, that I'm looking for a job and I haven't for quite some time. I finished my master's about a year ago um, and I'm looking for a job, um, preferably <laughs> in my sector, but uh, that's not really happening. Um, and obviously it's like, I'm not looking to remain in this geographical area either. Um, um, so I just got a call from like a healthcare company or whatever, um, offering me a job as a community swabber, like a COVID test swabber. Um, which is, I mean, great, it's a job, but also like really bizarre. Um, so yeah, she was like, keep an eye on your email for a contract. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so um, I will see, honestly, I'll have to see what the contract is and figure it out from there and see if it works. Because as I have said many times, I have two trips planned. So I'm not gonna be canceling either of those. Um, but still, that's weird. Um, I applied for that, so the, the, she was like, are you still available for that? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay. Um, so that's just such a bizarre start to my Wednesday. But you know, a job is a job. And that's what I need right now. So, yeah. What the heck? Also, just for reference, you know, if you're new here, uh, I don't have any experience in like science or anything like that. Um, political science is as close as we get. So <laughs> it's just a whole new world for me. Um, so yeah, this is my hair actually that I got done yesterday and I'm loving it. Now I'm just confused. So, you know, when I'm like, I really just want a job, I like, kind of mean like in my sector, but I will take what I can get. I'm gonna get dressed, put on a little bit of makeup because I'm breaking out of my chin and it's annoying me. I have a bunch of like jobs I need to do in the house today, but I also want to sew a little bit. Um, I don't have any job vacancies that I found in the last like two days, even though I've looked periodically, but um, so I'm not gonna do that today. I'm going to sew a little bit and then I just have other, I have stuff in my handy dandy planner and I'll work on that instead. So, yeah, and I might do some packing prep as well. I think that'll be a good idea. So, what a weird start to my day. Okay, so I decided not to put on makeup because I wasn't bothered. I'm gonna do a little bit of sewing um, to start off this strange, strange morning. I have said a couple times, I kind of want to get this dress somewhat put together so I can just like see if it's an option um, for wearing 
in London more so, um, like with tights and stuff. But I'm just starting off a bobbin right now and I'm gonna, I showed that earlier, I pinned all the darts and hem the cuffs like the sleeve cuffs and all that sort of stuff so I'm gonna stitch those up I think before I have lunch and then I'll regroup and see how I'm doing I'll probably do some other things in the afternoon oh I need to tell my one of my other friends got this offer yeah I'm just having like a weird day now my hair looks so good though <laughs> so that helps for now I'm just gonna do a little bit of sewing and hopefully this dress looks cute the thread seems a little bit dark even though it was like through Minerva, I did the thing where it's like, pick a thread for me. Um, so, it should be fine. But I also want to paint some needlepoint canvas later this week. But maybe I'll vlog again later in the week. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just like processing. And I'm going to, I showed before, but I guess you can see properly in this light. This fabric is really pretty. It's pinned on the other side, but look how pretty. I just think, especially now with my hair done, Mm, it's so nice and I don't know what the weather was really gonna be like in Madrid I'm gonna ask my friend because she like used to live really close to there um at this time of year but I don't know if I need to bring boots or not um and I have some dresses over there I'm gonna be doing a packing video actually um I think I said that already subscribe to see that uh but I don't know if maybe I'll add this dress into the mix I'll, I'll I would really like to have it for London I don't know why I have that in my head with my tights and my docks I think it would be really cute so anyways I'm just just in a weird place now this morning so I'm gonna sew and you know it's very soothing you know the machine noise then we'll do some like packing prep later This day just keeps getting weirder. So I was sewing, vibing, until the sleeves don't really fit. So I was trying to ease them in. They're not really going in. I'm just gonna figure that out. But um, my eye is twitching because I'm stressed. I, so as I said, I got a weird phone call this morning and I received the email about like proceeding with things. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, I'll go ahead with that. Let me just eat my lunch. So I eat my lunch. Then I go on the laptop to go and reply to that email. And next thing I see, another email from an entirely different type of position. Um, unpaid, so internship. But so I was back and forth emailing with someone and now I might be being ghosted. Um, but we'll have to just see how that plays out. So I replied to the HSE, like the no swabber one, and I'm waiting to hear back on the other one. But uh, it's just so weird. After like 11 months that now this is happening. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, I'm actually gonna pull out some of this fabric here. I'm gonna cut out fabric for masks. Cause I wanna make a couple more masks before I go to Spain and for London just to have some more cute masks because I'm kind of tired of the ones I already have so I'm going to make one out of the kind of mustard fabric I showed earlier and out of the green linen and just a bunch of stuff like that so I have some cute ones some of them will like match outfits which is also fun so yeah what kind of day is today it's like 3 30 p.m i think i've just been like on my laptop the whole time so i'm just taking a step back and i'm gonna cut out some masks and uh what is happening so i was correct in thinking that cutting fabric would be somewhat therapeutic because it was um just nice and quiet and just crunch 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 out of the scissors through the fabric so i will show you actually the fabric that I'm using. I did not get any more emails back from the internship, but I did get lots of stuff back from the actual like job. So um, I'm gonna go do that now, but I am I made a dress. There's a dress hanging up behind me. Um, that's the video coming after this one, uh, the Monica dress that I made. I'm using, the fabric's really lightweight, so I need a pretty heavy lining for that. I'm using some of the really nice, um, mustard floral fabric some of the green linen fabric which i think is gonna look so good and i ended up cutting out like basically three masks each and then also 
I have another video which I will link in the cards um, and I made a, like a nap dress style dress out of this gorgeous navy so I'm not going to sew them up because I'm just going to like tidy up the area because I don't actually have a lining fabric I thought I had more left but then I remembered I used every single bit of it for the other masks and I have a bunch here so I might end up going somewhere to buy that on Friday because I also need a zip to finish the mustard dress. Shit is weird today, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. There's the dress, <laughs> the blue one. Um, yeah, I have to go fill out forms of all different kinds. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now and subscribe to my channel to see the Madrid adventures, see, see maybe some London adventures, some sewing fun things and basically to see how this whole situation pans out. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Anime by Design and I will see you in my next video.